We're gonna be giving you all the pros and cons on my Dodge Challenger RT, man. And as y'all can see, I do got one of the hardest RT Chileys, man. Look at my rack solid. I see the grass getting long. Snakes, I'm gonna mow it. I'm gonna blow like brown. Racks on me, I'm sorry. Talk here, talk of the morning. I'm in the car, got motion. Big bang, roll, can't fold it. So we're gonna go from pros and then we're gonna see cons next. So. Bro, one I say the 5.7 liter V8 can be natural natural rated. Mines, I would say with 390 horsepower, 400 pounds of torque. But yeah, that would be pro number one. Would it come up with a, a V8 instead of a V6? On a pro number two. Pro number two, like I said, would be mines having paddles because y'all, if y'all don't know. Um, they usually come with paddles, but for whatever reason, my trim didn't, y'all. So, what I went on ahead and did was got the Hellcat paddles, and y'all, when I tell y'all, this makes so much of a difference in it because you can uh, downshift and upshift and make your car make a lot of noise and all of that. Man, I was missing out on a lot of that action. On the pro number three, for three for me would be having. SRT pages. So if y'all don't know, Dodge Challengers don't come with SRT pages, but mine's has it. So this for me would definitely be a pro because I can switch it from custom sport track mode default and as well as eco mode. So when I got this, this was definitely a plus because you know what I'm saying it's way different than having just the switches you'd be able to turn on. This you can do a little bit more, and then you know what I'm saying. You don't get track mode when you have the base model RT. Well, you don't have SRT pages in the RT, so you wouldn't have track mode. But that would be pro number three on the number four. Man. Pro number four will be having the performance pages. So for me, I was a little surprised because. I really wasn't looking too much in the chatties. I was more, for, uh, I was more of a charger type dude type shit. So when I seen the performance pages for the chatties, I was a little more interested because it looked a little different, y'all. So as y'all can see, I have the performance pages, my timers, the last, best, etc. Type the gauges, my coolant oil, oil pressure, my battery voltage. As y'all can see, I ain't gonna keep naming everything. G Force, and then as well is my engine, pretty much like the dyno type. And I ain't gonna fake having this in the Chali nights, nice, man, because you really get to maintain, or not maintain, but you really get to have a view of what's going on with your car in motion type. It could be pro number four and on a five. And on to the last one, pro number five for my car will be most hard. Y'all, when I tell y'all, when you go from a normal piece, I mean, when you go from a normal piece, and then you get a push or start car, it's real nice, y'all. And as y'all can see, got the cool little push or start for y'all boys. And it sound real good, too. Con number one for me for my Challenger RT would be the stock tire size, y'all. So if y'all don't know, they come stock with two 45s, uh, two 45 4020s, I believe. And these rims are Hellcat reps. So, well, not Hellcat reps, these are Hellcat rims. So these was a little bit bigger for mine. So in the front, I'm running two 55s. 255 4020s and then in the back i got 265 45 20s for the moment but that would be a con because uh the tires burn a, a real fast type and then two i come to my rims on here they was too small to fit con number two would be the open diff on my car y'all so if y'all don't know that does challenge just come with open diffs Except some of the trends, but mine did come with the open disc, unfortunately. So it is a little weird to slide sometimes, 
but I can definitely, you can definitely get loose on RT, don't get me wrong, because it got the power that y'all need, but that open div just keep your car from losing traction. So like that, the open div pretty much keeps it from doing all the sliding like a scat pack or a hill that would. And I lucky wish I had the LSD. But that would be con number two, and on to number three. Number three for me would be the brake size. So if y'all see our brakes, the brakes on here is baby brakes. And this car is low-key faster than what they actually think it is. So I ain't gonna fake the two piston door last brakes that they got on here, y'all. They is trash, bruh. I ain't gonna fake. They should have put the um Brembo's on here too, the four pistons on here like scats. But what they did was they left them separately to different uh, to make their trims different. So I ain't gonna really be too upset about it. But that was car number three on the four. Number four will be the wheel gapping on y'all. So if y'all can't see, look how much hand space I got, y'all. If y'all don't know. My car has a lot of open space, and they actually lifted it a little too high for us. For us. So I say the wheel gap would be con number four. And in the spring, I mean in the future, I ain't gonna say spring, but in the future, your boy John will be lowering that three four five mobile. But we ain't gonna say four five for con. For me, the last one to wrap it up would be the battery problems. Man. So I ain't gonna lie. From my history and my car specifically, man, the battery on this motherfuckers, this shit don't make no sense, y'all. It need 14 volts to run, but to all the start. But I'm trying to tell y'all, this battery is so big, like, it have problems so much. Like, my car done been dead on me because of how cold it is outside, bro. And I had replaced it already to get one that got different cold crank naps. So... When I peeped, it was still down on me after that. I'm like, oh, no. But, yeah, so the batteries do be having problems. So that will be the fifth con for me. And then that will pretty much be it for it because other than that, I don't got nothing else to say about my baby because just look at her. She just looks so, so, so bad. You know what I'm saying? You look at my baby, you like, fuck. But that'll wrap it up for my vid, man. And make sure, you boys, like, comment, share, subscribe. Peace. Look at my racks, solid. I see the grass getting long. Snakes, I'm gonna mow it. I'm gonna blow like brown. Racks on me, I'm sorry. Talk here, top of the morning. I'm in the car, got motion. Bib ain't rock, can't fall.